Hi everybody, Coach Brittany here again with another writing video. So today we're going to talk about free verse poetry. So free verse poetry is probably the easiest kind of type of poetry to write because it really has little to no rules and it lets you kind of do whatever you want. So we're going to learn a little bit more about what free verse poetry looks like and sounds like and then we're going to write our own. So our question, as always, whenever we start our videos, is we want to make sure we define what we're talking about so we all understand what it is we're talking about. So what is free verse poetry? First, I want you to think about, is there anything that a poem has to have? When you think of a poem, we're not talking about novels, we're not talking about essays, we're talking about poems, what does it have to have to be a poem? When you think about a poem, it has very, there's only a few things it has to have. So basically it has to have lines and stanzas. Other than that, a poem is very open and can have a lot of different formats, a lot of different topics, a lot of different ways of going about it. The punctuation depends. It is, but if it's broken up in lines and stanzas, you know it's a poem. So free verse poetry is a type of poetry that has very few rules. Like I said before, there's so little rules to this. It can be about anything and allows you to write however you want. So free verse poetry, again, all you need is lines and stanzas, basically. You just need to have it in lines and stanzas, and that could be however you want. It could be little stanzas, it could be long stanzas, it could be short lines, long lines, it can alternate, it can look different on the page. Free verse gives you complete control of what you want it to look like. So we're gonna look at some free verse poems and give you an idea of what a free verse poem might look like. So the first one is called The Dark. It's by Anonymous from DC Scores. It says, I am a butterfly that flutters and dances in the night sky. In the darkness, there is no fear that I'm scared to be seen. I have a dream. There is no end in sight. I fly higher and faster than that bird that chases me. I can see my dream ahead of me. I spin and float toward the morning light. I am a butterfly that twirls and dances in the sun. This poem does not have a rhyme scheme. The uh, lines are all different lengths. Some are very short, two words, some are longer, has one stanza. It doesn't have, you know, sometimes a line stops and starts. Again, no rhyme scheme, so it doesn't have to rhyme. This is a free verse poem because it is written how they wanted it to write to get the point across about this butterfly and this dance of night that they are thinking about. Um, they didn't want it to rhyme. They didn't know, they broke up the lines where they thought it was best for breaking up the lines. So the dark is it's just a poem. And it's written how they want. It doesn't have to follow a, uh, a series like a haiku. It doesn't have, to have so many syllables. It doesn't have to look same. It doesn't have to be anything like a shape poem. It doesn't have to tell something, give you hints to something like a riddle poem. It is just the poem, however they wanted to write it. So the next one we have is Visiting My Abuelita. I'm going to apologize now if my Spanish is not so great. So I am uh, not the greatest at pronouncing words. So. But it's by Angel from American Scores Chicago. So it says, I wake up early every morning to the sound of my abuelita humming and working in the kitchen, making chocolate con loche and galetas for the family. During the day, we play games of tag with a slingshot in one hand and a tamarindo candy in the other. The sun is hot as we stop at La Fuquina Tienda for something cold to drink. Abuelita will be preparing la cena soon. Pollo and mole, my favorite. So we back to, walk back to the house. We stop to see the donkey. He's in a good mood today. Every night the power goes out and rain pounds against the house. We all gather while Ab Abuelita tells stories about La Brujera to the rhythm of the raindrops. As I fall asleep, I hear the sound of creatures all around me. I'm afraid but tired, so I fall asleep and dream. Again, there is no set format here. There is no rhyme scheme. There is no uh, number of syllables full page. It, the lines are different lengths at every time. Um, again, I'm going to apologize for my Spanish because it's not the best. I'm working on it. I'm not, I'm not so great right now. So just a poem about visiting the granny or the grandmother and kind of seeing what they do while they're there and giving you a picture of that, that life. And again, it doesn't have to follow a certain some format. It is just free verse. It just flows and talks and he stops and starts the lines where he thinks it is, uh, it is required. So for us, for our free verse poem, what you're gonna do is you're actually gonna interview yourself and you're gonna write it about yourself. So this is the easiest way to start a free verse poem and it's the easiest way to kind of write one about yourself is because you know all about yourself. So it's super easy for you to sit down, do a whole um, interview with yourself and then pick out pieces and parts that you wanna talk about. It might spark a memory that you wanna talk about, it might spark a season or a th thought. So we're gonna go with that. So 
First thing is you're going to answer these questions. So I want you to get a piece of paper. You can write down the question and the answer, or you can just write down the answer, whatever easiest for you. If you're younger, maybe you can draw a picture, or you can help some, have someone help you answer these questions. So question one is, when and where were you born? Is there a special story, story surrounding your birth? So the way I would answer this is I was born in, uh, in Cleveland area. Um, I was born on November 13th, 1988. Yes, that makes me 31 years old. Uh, is there a special story surrounding your, surrounding your birth? Not too much. Um, it's pretty simple. So you can have a special story. Maybe there was someone that was special there for you. Maybe there was a certain event that happened today. Was there a snowstorm? Was it a rainstorm? Um, did you come when were you born when you know your parents didn't think you they could have kids? Or were you the first child, last child? I was the first child. So I guess I was the first one for my mother to have. So I guess that's the special story is it's the first time I uh, she had a child. So it's up to you how you want to answer the question. So you could take a second, pause the video decide how you want to answer and come back. Question two is, do you have any nicknames? If so, where did they come from? So I have a few nicknames. Um, because my name is Brittany, there's a variety of ways you can say Brittany. So my brothers, when they were young, used to call me Bribby because they couldn't say Brittany. So I call Brip or Brippy a lot. Um, and Brittany because it just flows well. Brit, obviously, because it's just a shortened form of Brittany. Um, I have some other nicknames but those are kind of the primary ones and they just come from a lot of people just trying to find different versions of my names so that's where i have my names from so you want to take a moment take a second think of any nicknames if you don't have any nicknames think of maybe a nickname you would want to have did you ever want to give yourself a nickname did you ever hear a nickname from somebody else that you thought was cool and maybe think about where that came from but question three is there something that you are really good at do you have any special talent no one else has so I'm really good at writing. I have a writing degree. I have always loved writing. I love coming up with um, different worlds and different uh, characters and scenarios. I love thinking about the world in a different way and a different way of thinking about it. So I would say my talent is definitely writing. Now it's not a special talent no one else has because there's plenty of people that have a writing talent. I am definitely not the only person who can write. Um, I don't really have a special talent. Um, I am not a great instrument. I can't really play instruments very well. Um, I cannot run. I'm not a, very good at sports. Um, I'm not somebody who do flips or anything or turn their arms inside out or anything fun like that. So I just am a good writer and I enjoy writing and I enjoy coming up with different worlds. So I want you to take a second. I want you to think of what you're good at. And like I said, if you don't have a special talent, that's great. Maybe there's one that you want to have. Did you have, do you want to be able to, you know, uh, spin your, your your wrist all the way around or do you want to be able to do a cartwheel or do you want to be able to do a flip off a step i don't know whatever you think your special talent either is or would want to be so number four is just simple what do you like to do for fun what do you like to do for fun i like to read i like to play video games i like to hang out with my puppies and my kitty cat i like to have my parents i like to go on hikes and kayaking um i like to explore nature I like to, I like to do a lot of things for fun. So there's a lot of different things I like to do for fun. What about you? What do you do for fun? Is it something indoors? Cause I know we are kind of stuck indoors right now. We don't have as many outside things we could do as many things we could do with other people. So maybe you take a second and figure out what do you like to do for fun now during our pandemic times? And maybe you think about what you like to do for fun before the pandemic times. And question five is what is something that makes your family special? So, Again, this can be anything. Maybe you have a special recipe. Maybe you have a special song or a, a special tradition. So I have three sides to my family. They're all special. Um, we do a lot of different things with each other. Christmas, we have special things. So we always see each other a specific time of Christmas. On my grandmother, my dad's side, we will watch the Christmas stories. So that's kind of makes my family special. Um, I mean, it can, this is a very bright and for, this is a very wide question. It has various answers. So it can be anything that makes your family special. That is however you define the word special. It is every, however you wanna talk about your family, whatever you wanna share about your family. Again, it could be a, a tradition. It could be food that you eat. It could be a movie that you watch. It could be the way your family is made up. Maybe you have one family, maybe a family in all over the states. Maybe that's what makes your family special. They're all over the country. Or maybe you have family in another country. Um, maybe, you know, you travel a lot with your family. Or you have someone in your family who works in a special job. Or, you know, maybe you have a family member that is a health care worker right now. So they're um, essential and they've been helping people. 
what you think about what makes your family special, and then come back. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take your answers and you're gonna write a free verse poem about yourself. Again, you can use all of the answers. You can use one of the answers. It is all up to you. What are you most comfortable with? Remember, there's no rules when you write this poem. Write it however you wanna write this poem. Again, it's free verse. It doesn't have to rhyme. It doesn't have to have a specific format. Just make sure it's in lines and stanzas. It could be a stanza like we saw in most of the other ones. It could be long and short lines. It could be all same lines. It could be however you want to. And you could talk about whatever answer you wrote in your interview. You could talk about your family. You can talk about what you like to do for fun. You can talk about where you were born, um, whatever you wanna talk about. Or if it sparks some memories that you wanna talk about, feel free to talk about that as well. Whatever you are most comfortable with, that is what is up, uh, free for you to write about. So take a moment, as always, pause your video, write your poem, and then come on back. And also always, we wanna hear your poems. We wanna hear your free verse poems about yourself and your interview that you did with yourself. So go on to flipgrid.com, put in the code writing poems, under the topics, find free verse, and then submit your video to earn, to add to your videos. Once again, five videos will, once you post five videos, you will get a $10 Walmart gift card. So again, it could be five writing, it could be five soccer, it can be whatever you want it to be, but just as long as it is five videos within one of our topics um, is uh, going to earn you a $10 Walmart gift card. So I cannot wait to read your free verse poems. I can't wait to hear them. And I hope you guys have a great day and we will see you next time.